What's going on guys, Sanya? So summer has finally approached us and yes, winter is coming and that means our PCs are getting hotter and hotter. My PC actually rose in temperature by about 10 to 15 degrees while gaming. It's a bit uncomfortable. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to keep your PC cool during the summer. Now, before I get into the five tips to help you guys cool down your PCs, I want to tell you guys that the five likely contenders to heat up your PC are actually your CPU and GPU. So knowing this, I'm going to ignore the RAM sticks. I'm going to ignore the hard drive. Well, it's kind of obvious, really. They really don't generate much heat so we can just put those aside and just focus on the cpu and gpu tip number one i want to tell you guys just to disable your overclocks overclocks raise your temperature a hell of a lot usually if you have your stock clocks and if you run it at full load it would go up to about maybe 60 to 70 degrees and if you add a few more megahertz onto the clock then you're going to increase it by maybe 5 to 10 degrees and you really can't afford that during the summer now tip number two now disable hyper threading if you have it so most i3s and i7s have hyper threading and disabling hyper threading does decrease the temperature by about maybe three four degrees really not much an improvement but if you're in a desperate situation it might just help you guys out a lot Tip number three I have for you guys is to add more fans into your PCs if you can fit them in. Now fans are going to add a bit of noise, that's inevitable, but the reason why I'm telling you guys to add a few more fans is so that you can put them onto a low RPM and have a bit more airflow. And if you have good airflow in your PCs, then you're going to have decent temperatures. You're going to have air coming into your PC case and then recycled back out. That's ideal. Now I can make a video for you guys on airflow, just let me know in the comment section if you want that, because I know a bit about the subject and my PC has pretty decent airflow, I think it's got negative air pressure if I'm correct and if you guys know the difference between negative positive and neutral air pressure believe me just go for negative air pressure try and find out about it and try your best to get your PCs running at a negative air pressure scenario now tip number four I would tell you guys to keep your PCs dust free. Now this doesn't really contribute to heat in the PC, it just contributes to the lifespan of your PC. Now imagine if your CPU is a bit dusty, maybe your CPU cooler is a bit dusty or your GPU fan is a bit dusty, you never know. Your hardware can just dead and you will have to spend another maybe £400 or £300 just buying new parts and parts. You don't want to waste more money on it, just try and keep your system dust free. And this goes back onto my previous point about the more fans at low RPM. More fans at low RPM would help you keep your PCs dust Dust free. My PC is essentially completely dust free because the intake fans are completely filtered and the exhaust fans are not filtered which means that when air comes in it comes in clean and when it's let out all the dust and whatever's inside just gets out. Now tip number five I have for you guys is to keep the ambient temperature down. This one is number five because it's probably the most hardest one. I'm trying to keep my room temperature down but it's around about 27 28 degrees it's really difficult to get down and the only way I can think of is getting an air conditioning unit and those are really expensive. So probably Probably the cheapest way to keep your ambient temperature down is probably open a few windows, open the doors, get some airflow in your room, get a fan if you can, get something to blow into your PC case, I don't know, something to keep it cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm going to make a few more videos. I have a bunch of ideas, but the only thing keeping me from making videos is literally the temperature where I live. It's like 20 degrees here. It's absolutely boiling. I'm dying every single day. I'm quite busy during the day as well. So I'm going to try and make a video for you guys every single day. If you can, leave me a suggestion of what to talk about in my next video. That will give me a few more ideas and a bit more motivation to make more videos. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you learned something new. Leave a comment if something helped you out in this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.